my gosh, it's Riley, and I am back today with another Adri video for you all. This is my first full regression day in a while, and I'm really feeling it. I'm really happy. I'm really excited. I woke up teeny, and I'm still feeling teeny. Also, I put glitter in the tea of my purple passy, but that's not what today's video is about. I asked you guys on Instagram, which by the way is Crayons and Pencils, you should go follow me, to send me your age assumptions about me. So age regression related assumptions that you guys had about me. Now I made sure to ask that you guys kept a completely safe for work and discourse free because that is not what I am about. I haven't read any of the responses yet, but I have them right here. So I think I'll just start reading them. Your headspace is more feminine. This is an interesting assumption, but it kind of goes both ways. Gender is a really complicated thing, and I don't believe that gender expression equals gender. And honestly, it really kind of just depends on the day and what my mood is. Some days I'm dressed in all pink and princess and unicorn stuff. Some days I'm dressed a little bit more neutral, kind of like I am today. Just my puzzle piece onesie and clip and stuff. And then some days I'm more masculine with like blue onesies and like dinos and things like that. It just depends on the day. You always seem very sweet and never really bratty. This is an interesting assumption. I would say for the most part that yeah, it's true. I don't really think I fall under like the bratty stereotypes. Like I, I, I tend to kind of just go with the flow and like not cause problems. <laughs> you have to multitask to be your own CG, ish. I do have a couple people that like to care for me right now and it's really, really, really nice. But that's not an all the time thing, so there are times where I do have to kind of like multitask. Now I think this is very funny that these two came in one right after the other. One says you're very talkative when regressed and the other says you're very quiet when regressed. That's really funny how different people say different things like that. I would say it depends. If I'm regressing a little bit older, kind of like I am today, I'm usually regressing older in my videos. Usually then I'm more talkative, but if I'm regressing to like under two years old, I'm definitely more quiet. It's hard for me to verbalize things. So in retrospect, both are correct. You always like your passy clip to match your onesie. If it can match my onesie, it's gonna. That is basically what I do. Like this onesie has a matching passy clip that was released with it and I love it. But I try to coordinate my outfit from the onesie, the passy, the passy clip and all of that. And I try to make all the colors look really nice together. So I try to make a match. Yeah, you're right. You like sensory toys, mainly rattles and crinkles, but not so much a lot of light. This is 100% true. I really need more sensory toys. I I don't have very many sensory toys at the moment at all aside from like tangles and things like that and like the fidget cubes. I really really want a big sewn sensory cube that has like puff balls in it and then a soft side and like a more rough side. I don't know I want it to have a lot of add-ons that are all different sensory things and sometimes I like the sensory toys that are light up and stuff but I tend to not really gravitate towards them as much so yeah. You regress to a really young age. I do, but my age range is pretty large. It ranges from zero to about 14. And obviously that shifted as I've grown up, but as of right now and as of the last couple of years, zero through 14 seems to be my age range, but I'm usually about two. And then after two, I'm usually about zero. And then after zero, I'm like the older ages. When you regress, you forget to take content. Not true. It's actually really interesting because one of my favorite actors 
activities to do while I am small is make content. I think it's really fun. I love sitting down here and being small and just filming videos for you and talking to you. It's I, I love it so much. I love taking pictures of the things that I'm doing and posting them. I love taking baby stories and things and I love playing around with filters. Some days I don't take content, but I don't really forget to take content. It's usually a more conscious decision of I want today to be an offline kind of day. You prefer bottles over sippy cups? I think it depends. It depends on what kind of bottle and what kind of sippy cup. Right now, I just use a 32 ounce mason jar and switch out between a newbie sippy lid and a mason bottle bottle lid. <laughs> and they're quite similar actually, but one looks more grown up and one looks more baby. But I use them both with my big mason jar because I drink lots and lots of water throughout the day. You are very dependent when regressed. I'd say this is somewhat true. If I am chatting with someone and I'm in purely regressed and they're kind of helping me, then yes, I'm very dependent. But in days like today, I'm chilling kind of by myself. I'm being my own care, I'm being baby, and it's just a really good time and I'm more independent. You like apple juice. Yes, I like apple juice. You would never hide being a regressor. A hundred, hundred, hundred percent true. Age regression is such a big part of my life and has been for such a long time that I can't imagine ever hiding it. And I really think that spreading what age regression is to more people and making content about it and making it more mainstream could really be beneficial and helpful for a lot of people. And I never, ever, ever, ever think that you should have to hide your coping mechanism and things that make you happy, especially because it's not hurting anyone. So you're absolutely right. I would never hide it. You love to color. I do. Coloring is super fun. I don't do it nearly often enough. You don't like knee-high socks. I do. It's just really hard to find some that fit big baby calves. <laughs> you know everything there is to know about the age regression community. Now, I wouldn't say everything, definitely. I would say I know quite a bit. I've been around here for a very, very long time, a little over seven years. Actually, now it might be, no, it's seven years. So I've learned a lot through my time being here, but I really don't think that I know everything. I don't think it's possible to know everything. There's always learning to do in all communities. So my friends, that is all. I really hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post over here a couple of times a week and you can also ring the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And if you would like to participate in these kinds of videos in the future, you can follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. If you want to spoil a baby, my wish list is linked in the description. And down there, you will also find a Ko-Fi if you feel so inclined to support my content for the price of a coffee. All of those tips really go to helping me out. I love you guys so, 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 so much, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>